Okay, in the last tutorial, we installed the DNS server bind, also known as named, or named, and we got the DNS server running, and the last configuration command that I put in was a check config named on, and this allows it so that if the server needs to be restarted, then the DNS server bind will start on startup. So this was the last command that I put in. So DNS is running, and everything is is working but essentially all it's doing right now it's more of like DNS forwarding right so we can resolve names right so if I ping Yahoo let's say it gets resolved and so our DNS server though is basically forwarding those requests out to other DNS servers on the internet to root DNS servers that it knows of to get those results so what if we want to configure our DNS server to actually resolve a domain name like the domain name let's say for this server let's say we have a domain on the server and we want to run it so how would we do that well we would do that by configuring some uh, master zones uh, forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zones on the DNS server and to do that before we do that we also want to make sure that we know and put in some configuration commands to kind of control the host name and the fully qualified domain name of the server so right now, if you want to know the host name, the host name is set when you first install CentOS. So when you first installed the server, it asked you what's the host name. The host name is also the name of the server. So if you look right here, it says root. That's the user because I'm I uh, have root access at machine six. So the host name is machine machine six, which is also the server name. So if you do host name, it should say machine six. But we could also edit the file that controls that. And so what we'll do is we'll see if we can edit that. I'm just going to go back here. And we're going to go and we're going to edit. I'm going to put in the nano command here. Use the nano text editor. And we're going to go into root, etc, sysconfig, and then the network file. And right after networking, we can put host name equal to, and we could say machine six and so that's the name of the server that's the host name so I hit control X Y to save and hit enter and so now if we cat that out it should be in there let's take a look alright you can see host name equals machine six alright super now if we put in host name and then dash F we should get the fully qualified domain name or host name double dash fqdn and you can see that it says unknown host so it doesn't really know the fully, quite dom fully qualifi qualified domain name so what we need to do is we actually need to set the domain the domain name of this machine so to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit another file and what I'm going to edit is the if config dash eth0 file which is our outside facing network interface right so this faces out to the gateway and we're going to edit it and then right after gateway right after gateway I'm going to put in domain equals and we'll just make up a domain name here we'll say Dan's classes com now I don't own the name dansclasses.com I'm just going to use it as an example and I'm going to try to resolve it locally right so domain equals dansclasses.com so then I'll hit control X to save Y enter and that should be saved now once we've done that we need to take that interface up and down so we'll say if down eth0 we'll take down that interface and then we'll bring it back up Okay, so now that we've taken that up and down, let's take a look at our etc resolve.conf file. And you can see now in our resolve.conf file, not only does our name server point to ourselves at, at uh, our loopback address, because we are a DNS server, so our DNS servers that we've set point to ourselves since we're a DNS server. But also you can see that we now have this search term in here for DansClasses.com. So that's good. 
Another thing we can do is we can edit the host file. So let's take a look at it. We can cat etc and let's see here. I'm actually going to ls etc. We'll take a look in there and we're looking for the hosts file. I just double checked to see there it is. Hosts. So that's the file we want to edit. And so let's edit that. All right, this is our host file, and you can see that it resolves hosts, IP addresses to names. And so you can see 127.0.0.1, the name localhost resolves to our loopback address. So what we can do is we can put in an entry for our IP address. Now our IP address is 192.168.1.98, I believe. And then I'll put in Dan's classes dot com here. Now if I wanted to, I could put in the fully qualified domain name that I want, which is machine six dot dansclasses.com. I could do that also. But I'm just gonna for the moment just put it in this way. 192.168.1.98. That looks good. And then we'll just save that. Control X Y to save and hit enter. So now that's done. We'll cat that out just to double check. Yep. All right, looks good. So now we've made the necessary um, changes to set up a domain name for the server. Now, if we type a host name dash fqdn, host name, I'm sorry, double dash fqdn, it still is not seeing it. And I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just, I know that the changes that I made are pretty good. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move on and I'm going to keep configuring the DNS server. All right, to edit the DNS server, what we're going to do is the first file we're going to configure is the named.conf file. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a nano and we're going to go into the etc folder and we're going to go to named.conf. Conf. And this is the configuration file for the DNS server. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, and you can see that it's not that long actually. So this is it. It's not much, that, that much into it. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to start adding my own zones. So right here, I'll say zone dance classes. Com. get my zone file in there and then I'll say in and then a curly brace and then I need a closed curly brace and a semicolon and now it's time to put in type the zone is going to be a master zone master record and the file which we we're going to have to create so the file, we'll call it dansclasses.com.zone. And then allow update open and close curly braces and we'll say inside of there none with a semicolon All right, and that's our first zone so that's going to be our basically our forward lookup zone and then we'll say zone and this time we're going to make a reverse lookup zone so for the for reverse lookup zone it's going to be like this this is the format Okay. All right, that looks good. And then inside these quotation marks, what we need to do is put the basically the network portion of the IP address in reverse. So we start with a 1.168.192. So our IP address is 192.168.1, so you can see there it is in reverse. 
and then dot in dash a d d r dot arpa alright that looks good and then it's the same type master file the file is going to be dansclasses.com dot rr dot zone all right and then allow dash update and then inside also none and a semicolon so that looks correct so we're going to need to create two files we're going to need to create the file dansclasses.com dot rr dot zone for our reverse lookup zone and dansclasses.com dot zone for the forward lookup zone and so we'll have to do that next but these I'm just looking closely to make sure I have no mistakes and no it looks pretty good so I'll do a control X and a Y to save and then enter so we have to create two files now now where are we going to create these files well I'll show you the files are going to need to go in here. So just say ls var name d. And you can see that we have a folder called name d in var in root, right? And this is where we're going to put those zone files that we need to create. So what we'll do is we'll say touch var name d and the zone file danceclasses.com dot zone and danceclasses.com dot rr dot zone okay so now if we list that file that folder again look at the directory you can see we have the two files that we need to edit in there and that's what we're going to do next.